One little man comes to the rescue of another. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And it looks like small man syndrome was kicking in here as Brendan Rogers had to rescue a fellow four-foot midget when he decided to put his hands on and assault a Stewart at the Tony Macaroni Stadium. So we're going to look at the video, then we'll come back and discuss it, and we'll compare it to another video that I remember Celtic fans being outraged over and calling for a member of Rangers to be banned from football for life and get a jail sentence. So we'll see if they have that same level of outrage for Brendan Rodgers in a minute. And there you have it, Brenda doing his best Karen impersonation and coming to the rescue of someone that shouldn't even have been there in the first place. Let's look at the facts. Should the Celtic fan be on the pitch? No. Is it the job of the Stewart to make sure Celtic fans don't get on the pitch? Yes. Is the Stewart entitled to stop, prevent and remove fans if they try and get on the pitch? Yes. Is Brendan Rogers entitled to come over, push, lay his hands on the Stuarts and prevent them from doing their job? No, he's not. So Brendan Rogers here is completely in the wrong. He had no right to do this. The Stuarts were using reasonable force to get this Celtic fan off the pitch and he decided to come over, try and be a white knight, try and save this kid or young man or small midget like himself and he's probably doing it good PR stunt trying to buy himself some faith with the Celtic fans oh I might have left you for Leicester City but at least I'm, I'm helping this wee kid from the nasty Stuarts now nah, it's bullshit he's came over and he's pushed the Stuart and he was not entitled to do that so he should face consequences for that and you might be thinking there's not a lot of contact in it and there's not but at the end of the day, he shouldn't be coming over and putting his hands on that Stuart. Because when the following incident happened, we were told any contact is assault. Um, you know, you can see he, he looks animated, so it suggests there's maybe been something prior to that. But either way, we can't have that. That that can't be happening in, in the in the football at all, as you say. So it's it's disappointing. Cause there you go, guys. In the commentator's own words, we can not have that. We can't have any sort of physical contact. So we need to keep that same sort of energy here. Brendan Rodgers has came on and he has laid his hands on a Stewart and he had no reason to fucking do that. Now, do I believe that Rodgers should go to jail or should he get match bans or fines or anything? No. He shouldn't, but we can't hold one guy responsible and demand that he gets kicked out of the game forever and pretend that he's committed like the worst crime we've ever seen and it was the worst assault ever seen and then get this incident and claim that Brendan Rodgers is a hero for protecting a fan when that's not what he's done. He's came on and he's essentially protecting a criminal because this guy had no right to be on the pitch and Brendan Rodgers had no right to lay his hands on the Stewart. Anyway, guys, that's it for Fog Football. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, though, peace.